defeated against Hello and welcome to The Watchmen. My name is Helen King and this is where we take a look at top stories in the world of social affairs, news analysis. The president of Love World Incorporated and our man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilame, by the spirit announced the year 2023 as the year of the prolific church to the resounding shouts of joy that preceded coming into the year. He went on to say that 2023 will be for many a final call because it is a year of decisions for the world. He said, God is putting before the world the decisions to either choose life or death. And for many, this year would be the final opportunity to make a decision. As billions paid rapt attention to the live broadcast, which was being translated to hundreds of languages and shown on thousands of platforms around the world, Pastor Chris expounded on the necessity to take the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to all the world and the great commission for every Christian. Three important instructions came with the message of the year. They are, number one, prioritize the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And he read from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20 to 21. Number two, prioritize the word of God. And he read Colossians 3:16. And number three, use the name of the Lord Jesus. And he read from Colossians 3.17. Now today we'll be showing you highlights of the December 31st service, which brings us the New Year's message, the year of the prolific church for us all around the world. But before we get into the highlights, which will be taken after a short break, let's have a quick look at the meaning of the word prolific. Okay, so for that, we just took one of the descriptions from a dictionary and it says here by the way this was this is love what uk's poster that was sent to everyone if you're on our email database if you didn't receive one then you can go ahead you can see it on your screen and you can go ahead and why not call us and get to be on our mailing list then you can get special posters like this sent to you okay so here you can see one of the meanings of prolific producing a great number or amount of something. Other dictionaries also give more and expounded uh, definitions to say someone or something that is prolific, fruitful, or highly productive. So many talk about productiveness in its abundance. And here we can see other smart vocabulary related words. Plenty and abundant, abound, abundance, abundantly, galore, generous, handsomely, luxuriant, over generosity. <laughs> okay, that's one, over generosity. Plenteous, richly abound in with or, or with something you can see that back on your screen abound in or with something abundant drip generosity generously lavish over generously okay is also one there plenitude plentiful well off so these are just some examples of some of the words that you will be hearing of in this year. And the man of God, Pastor Chris, says this is the year of the prolific church. So it's the year of the abundant you, the abounding you, the one that is generous, you know, handsomely, luxuriant, plenteous. It's the year of plenteousness, richly, generosity. He says dripping, lavish with plenty, you know, creating much fruits. It says producing a great number amount of something. But I'm going to go past Christmas sort of like this year. It's not just of something as in anything, but of fruits, you know, making great impact. So this is the prolific year, 2023, the year of the prolific church. And I'm going to go past Chris expounded even during the December 31st service, which forms the New Year's message that we should take seriously preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. How would they hear without a preacher? And for many in the world, it will be a time of decision and they may only have this opportunity. So this time around, when you go out to do your evangelism, think about the fact that you might be the one giving someone their last opportunity to give their lives to Jesus Christ, to have the opportunity to choose life or to choose death. So it's something not to be trifled with. So right now we'll be taking a short break and when we get back, 
we're going to go straight into looking at the highlights of the December 31st service with the man of God, Pastor Chris, where we get to remember the pertinent instructions he gave us by the Spirit of God. What if your imaginations became real? What if your imaginations shaped the lives of others? Now, imagine a world where every child has an opinion, has the ability to speak their mind. A world where every child has the freedom to explore, learn, create, and progress. Imagine if books outnumbered bullets, if dialogue eradicated violence. Just imagine if every human has the right to education. How different our world would be, where ignorance ends, peace and prosperity begin. At the Inner City Mission, these imaginations are our reality. Through our education program, Thousands of children have been given an opportunity to break free from poverty and a chance to live their dreams. This is Deborah. Hello, my name is Deborah. I'm a people of the Inner City Mission School in Shimawa community. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. My dad lost his job and the money my mommy made was not enough to pay my school fees. So I dropped out of school to join my brothers to sell on the streets to help our family. But now I am in school where my parents don't have to pay any fees. My school is fine and free. The Inner City Mission brought this school to my community. I am very happy to be in school. I listen to my teacher very well because one day I want to be a pilot. I will travel around the world and make my family happy. This year, we are giving 5 million indigent children, like Deborah, access to education through space. The Sponsor a Child's Education Initiative will give out-of-school children a place in the classroom by sponsoring their education all through the school year, equipping them with scholastic materials, constructing free schools, and setting up children's centers in underserved communities around the world. You can sponsor tuition or academic materials for indigent children, or the construction of tuition-free schools and children's centres in inner cities. It's time to take action. A child's reality depends on you. Sponsor a child today. I told you, we'll watch me. Welcome back. So right now we're going to go straight into looking at some of that important information that our man of God, Pastor Chris, shared with us during the December 31st service, the New Year's message. We've heard that it is indeed 2023, our year of the prolific church. But right now, watch these highlights of the very important backbone of the message of the year. Tell somebody, this is 2023. Everything is different. For the world, it shall be a year of decision. Yes, a year of decision like they've never seen before. God is saying, I put before you life and I put before you death. Choose life. It's a time of decision for the world. And many will be receiving their final call. And this is so important. 
the many who many who have been called again and again again and again God talking on their hearts but 2023 will be for many a final call because it's the year of decision they've got to make that year they've got to make it they've got to make it the many who will never have an opportunity again this is their year and they must make the decision for Christ this is their year many will have no other opportunity and that's why it's very very serious it's very very serious as of April 2022 and I was praying and the Spirit of God began to speak to me about this that the coming year will be a time of decision for the world they're being presented with this opportunity as though they were never given and yet for many it will be their final call and that's very serious but it's all, it also should stare in us the necessity for us to take the message to the ends of the earth to the whole world but it shall be so why because this year 2023 is the year of the prolific church The church shall spread throughout the earth unhindered. The church of Christ shall spread throughout the earth. And this prolificacy of the church in these days shall be as never before experienced. Because the church shall proliferate to the ends of the earth unhindered the Lord gave a parable of the kingdom he says it's like a woman that put a little living in the door of bread and it spread to all of it so, so is the kingdom like a mustard seed that though it be the smallest when it is sown grows to be a great tree and birds of the earth can lodge in its branches you are going to be so prolific everywhere everywhere in an outstanding way You get in there and the spirit of multiplication you would see it happening 
Because this is God's plan for his church in 2023. Now, three important things for us. Number one is to prioritize the spirit. Prioritize the spirit. You know, in the early church, the Holy Spirit was so important, so important. In Acts chapter 19, when Paul went to Ephesus, the Bible tells us when you read from verses 1 to 7, he met some 12 disciples there. And the first question he asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said, we haven't even heard that there's any Holy Ghost. He said, unto what then were you baptized? They said, we only know John's baptism. And he explained to them about the Lord and talked to them about the Holy Ghost and laid hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. And 12 of them began to speak in tongues and prophesy. Just 12 men. First thing he asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? You have to prioritize the ministry of the Holy Ghost this year, 2023, like you never did in your life before. My brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit made you. You have to understand, He created you. Go to Job chapter 33, verse 4. Read. Read it out, one, two, go. Yes, he's the one who made you. He made you. I can show you several verses in the scriptures. You discover he's the maker. In the Godhead, you can talk about Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is the one, he's the performer. He's the performer. He's the one that actually fashioned you. And the Bible says his delight was with the sons of men. In other words, he always wanted to live with us. He always took delight in us. And the father fulfilled his dream. When he gave him to us. To live in us. Did you know you're so important to the Holy Spirit? You're so important to the Holy Spirit. This year, prioritize the Holy Spirit and his ministry in your life. Many have received the Holy Spirit, but they ignore him. He's not part of their day. He's not part of their considerations. They act like he doesn't live. They act like he's a mere experience, but he's more than an experience. But this year, make that decision the Holy Spirit is going to be more than an experience to you he's a person and every Christian everyone who has received the Holy Spirit must now recognize him and fellowship with him he wants to talk to you all the time he wants to teach you he wants to show you the way of the kingdom Let me show you something it's going to do for you. Go to the book of Proverbs. Did you know his wisdom? Let me show you from verse 20. His wisdom. He's the wisdom of God. Go to verse 20. Proverbs chapter 8. It says, I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the parts of judgment. Why? that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. Did you see that? This is what he wants to do for you in 2023. Look at it again from verse 20. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the parts of judgment 
that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fail their treasures. He is the voice of God that talks to you. He is the voice of God that gives you guidance, that gives you instruction, that tells you where to go, what to say, what to write. He wants to lead you to inherit substance. If you will let him, this world with its fake poverty, this world with man-made poverty, because poverty in the world is not natural, it's man-made. You will never be a victim of man-made poverty. If you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you let him guide you, he says, I lead in the way of righteousness that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. Think what he will do for you in 2023 if you listen to him. Listen to him. Say, I will listen to him. Say, so I will listen to him. Number two, prioritizing the word of God. The word, the word of God. Look at Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. Look what it says. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Did you see that? Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Not in small amounts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Have the word in you abundantly. You've got to study it. You've got to have it in your heart. Meditate on the word. Give attention to it. Say so this year, I will give attention to the word of God like never before. Now, you know, you, you want to see God do something that is never done in your life? You should be ready to do something that you have never done before. And number three, the name. You're going to learn to use the name. See, most of us have used the name of Jesus for situations, certain situations. We think it's something that we do when we are really in some dire need. When something is serious, that's when we need to call the name of Jesus. But if you live your life like that, progress will be slow. Changes will be slow. You want to see your life grow fast, quickly, and bigly then you have to do it as the word says. You gotta do it as the word says. What does it say? I'll show it to you. Colossians chapter three, verse 17. What does it say? Read for me, one, two, go. That's remarkable. Look at it. And whatsoever, not some things. Not sometimes. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. You'll be amazed at the changes that will take place. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at the results. Whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And this is why I teach about the Lord Jesus, because many just call him Jesus. They don't know him. They just say Jesus. No, when you talk about him, it's different from when you talk to him. When you talk to him, say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Not, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You don't know him. After his resurrection, nobody called him Jesus. 
They said, Lord. They all called him Lord. Like I said, talking about him is different. Like I'm talking about him and I say, I'm talking about Jesus. Yes. But when you talk to him, you've got to call him Lord. Lord Jesus. When you talk to him, and when you sing of him, call him Lord. Respond correctly to him. Address him correctly. You will be amazed at the results. You've heard it. It is the year of the prolific church. A lot to shout about. And remember, our man of God, Pastor Chris, has told us that this is the year that we should take the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. We can't afford to delay. It's very important that we do this. And for you watching, in case you're not born again, this might be your last opportunity to choose life or death. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ now. Say this prayer with the man of God, Pastor Chris. If you've never been born again, this is your moment to receive salvation the Bible way. This is your moment. I'm going to lead you in prayer right now. Say these words after me and mean them from the bottom of your heart and God will hear you. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. From this day, And by my faith, in his name, I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord. I have eternal life now. I am born again. I'm a child of God from this day. Amen. Congratulations. If you just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Welcome to the family of God. Do contact us with the details shown on the screen for your free copy of the book, Now That You Are Born Again, and also information on how to get to a church near you. Well, that's as much time as we've got on today's episode of The Watchman. As usual, you can catch up with previous episodes on demand via the details showing on the screen. And watch us on the Alpha TV app or the Live TV mobile app. A lot more information will be coming your way, so don't miss any of our exceptional programs on Love World UK. But for now, that's as much as we can take. Stay tuned. God bless you. Against our